Create Studio just added a new feature in the app that people have been asking for for a long time. So we have captioning and people have been asking and asking. So of course, Create Studio took the challenge and gave it to us. Um, and this is in all access and they explained that it is costing for every captioning that we do. So it is part of the all access pass. And if you don't have that, there is a link um, in the description and you can check that out. All access also gives you all the characters and backgrounds and templates and scenes and everything that's in there. Um, so let me show you a little bit about the closed, ca the, the captioning. Um, I, and been playing with it a little bit, so I definitely don't know everything that it has to offer. But once I show you some of the features, maybe then you'll just go in and you will explore and learn it all. So when you have the the audio file, you have to have an audio file on there to have them show up. If you don't have an audio file, you can't create captions. So select that and then you have edit captions. They have tons of, well, maybe not tons, but they have a lot of presets so that you can just start and choose with one of those if you want, or you can go in and change it to anything that you want. So you can change the font to anything that you want. Um, yeah, I don't like that, but you can change the font to what you want. You can change um, the position. You can have it at the top the bottom or the center, uh, entry an animation of scale or fade. I think, it, I don't really love that, but I think people will want to choose their own thing and you can change the size. You really can do anything that you can do with any text in the app already. You can also have it at an angle if you want to do that. Before I keep going, I don't want to keep hearing this audio. So you can actually also get rid of the, the sound. So if you have this highlighted, just like any other audio file, you can turn it off, well, the volume down, and then the captions, no sound. So you can do that as well. So now, whoop, I want to go back to edit captions, and then you can change the color to anything that you want. If you want blue, you can have a highlight color. You can, um, what's kind of cool too, is you can have the whole line come out at a time or just one word at a time. Or it starts and it just keeps adding the new word. So then they all end up being highlighted. So you can choose your option for that. We have the right to left and the, all of those things that are typical. You can add a border or a shadow and here's where your angle is. You can also make a box for the background. So right here, this is um, not showing. So you can, ugh, that's really ugly. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Maybe I'm going to put it black so I don't hurt my eyes. Well, that might not show you what I'm going to show you next, where you can also right here, it's a square with the right angle. Then you can make it with a curved edge to as much as you want it to be. You can do the border and the shadow there. Something else that's super to have in here is if you go into captions, you can change some of these up. And I actually already changed it, so I shouldn't have because, of course, it came out as Create Studio. Um, these are all capitals. It had a lowercase. So I want that to be a full word. So I can just edit it however I want. I can change. So maybe I want... You put that people have, I can add a new text that people have then, and then I can delete it from here. And then you can change what words are showing. You can change that order. You can change the timing. This is where I'd really have to play around. I would be stumbling through that because I am not as fluent in that, but you can change all of that. The other thing that you can do is you can add an emoji. 
So they just added, let's make that with a thumbs up. You can change some of the animation. Where is, oh, I know where it is. It's right here. You can change the size of it. And then if you decide you don't want it, you can delete it and add another one if you want. So you can just play around with that however you want it to go. Now, the one thing that I have found for myself um, right here, I always have a hard time getting out of here. Um, there. And then I go back into edit captions. I have to figure out where I'm supposed to be putting everything. So we can have that or we can just get rid of it if we don't want it. How do you add captions? So I already did another one. So I am actually just going to hide this so I can show you. I went into the voice. I grabbed Google and I did a French voice just to show you what we have. It, this isn't a translation app, so you can't have it in English and then have it translate to French. But I typed some French in here. Bienvenue dans la toute nouvelle. And I want the captions to be in French. I don't want them to be in English, of course. So I can go and generate captions. They give you these two options with the reminder, it's not for translating, and you can search what you want. So I'm gonna choose French. It's generous, there you go. I mean, this isn't very long, but you can see how quick that was. So now, Bienvenue dans la toute nouvelle fonctionnalité de Create Studio. And so I would have to change this because I also, I don't know why it keeps doing that. I don't like to separate those. So I'm just going to copy paste those in there. And then you can just go in and change it however you want it. So have fun with the new captioning. And let me know what else I didn't say that you've learned about it and let me know in the comments below because I'm sure once I finish this, I'm going to say, oh man, I forgot to tell you one other thing. So have fun.